Hello guys, today I'm going to take you through floor 4 the hollowed sepulchre. This is a full run including tile markers, how to pass obstacles, and looting the coffin at the end. I have also exported my tile markers from Runelight and put them in the description below for you guys to make it easier. If you want to help me grow, like, comment, share my videos, or become a channel member. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. Okay, so there are only two layouts to floor 4, and mind you, I just unlocked floor 4, so these are my first attempts at this. But, by my third run through this, I was able to complete the entire floor with 2 minutes and 30 left. Alright, so let's get started. Layout 1. This layout starts with a long set of wizards. As you can see, I wait longer than necessary here to see if they're going to alternate patterns. They don't. So it's still pretty easy. Look for the gap in the middle, run to it, wait, then run out. Now here comes a new obstacle I'm going to call lightning. Super simple. Lightning hits in a 5 pattern. It lights up the spots and then it hits twice. Just wait till it's done, then run through. So now we're faced against our first double obstacle of floor 4. This one took me a minute to figure out, and I ended up wasting all of my time here, but now that I have it figured out, it's a really simple one-click trick. So we're going to wait for the statue to throw the sword, then run behind it. So once the sword is thrown, and is about to pass you, immediately click the tile marker that we put on the right past all of the statues, and everything should line up, and you'll be able to pass both in one fell swoop. Our next obstacle is fast double arrows. Our trick in the lower levels of smaller clicks for better movement still works, just not as well as the arrows gradually get faster. So the new trick is to do longer clicks, but if you need to switch to a new lane, then click closer to your character and to the right or left, and then long click up to get some good distance before the next set of arrows. This one is still fairly easy, but remember this trick as we will need it later on. Now, we see our first opportunity to loot a coffin. It's locked behind a bridge, so you'll need 56 construction, a hammer, preferably the hallowed hammer as to not fail when you're using nails. You'll also need a saw, two planks, and five nails. I don't recommend looting this coffin unless you're really good at this floor. Then go down the stairs. Here's our first triple obstacle. We have lightning, squares, and the sword. Now, it's easy to try and use the same tricks as before, but that's a lot to keep track of and you have a long way to go. So, I recommend waiting till the sword is thrown out and has been out for a minute, then aim for a lit up blue spot, either in the first set of squares or the second set so it will teleport you past the sword and help you quickly pass this obstacle. It will take some timing, so don't get too frustrated, don't worry about the lightning too much, if you get hit, you'll get stunned for a second, but you'll be fine. The next obstacle is going to be probably the hardest one so far. It's double arrows that are coming fast and squares. Honestly here, luck is going to come in handy. I pretty much ignore the squares and only have eyes on the arrows. I'll wait for the arrows, move to a safe spot, then run up a set of squares. Wait to see where I need to be for the next set of arrows and then run up another set of squares. Sometimes when waiting for the arrows, I'll move sideways, then wait for the next set of arrows before moving past a set of squares. Don't worry if you waste some time here, just breathe and focus on the arrows more than the squares. Even if you get transported backwards, you're fine, just keep going. Then there's a 3 set row of squares, just run past them. I like how the game gives you a super simple one knowing that we need a break after those two hard ass ones we just did. Now if you have time left, you can loot the coffin past the braziers if you have 54 prayer and bring 2 vampire dust. I got 4 hollowed marks and a prayer pot. Then you can squeeze through the gates, hit the obelisk for replenishing your run, and then take on floor 5. I can't do that yet, because I'm not 92 agility, but I'm working on it, and when I do, I'll do floor 5. I recommend only looting this last coffin on floor 4 until you get good enough to have a good amount of time left over. Layout number 2. This one starts with lightning, so just watch them hit and run past. 
Then it's a sword and three rows of blue squares. Follow behind the sword and run over the blue squares. Try to hit a lit up one to save time and get you closer to the top and then run to the right. Now it's fast double arrows and squares again. So focus on the arrows and move across without getting hit. Take your time, don't fret if you get hit or sent backwards. Focus on moving one square at a time and pause for a period before going straight if it means that a square will not be lit up by the time you reach it. Now you're facing long wizards that have a four pattern rotation, but it is quite simple. Place a tile marker at the start, then another one a couple tiles in. Then wait for the right side, or as I have the camera angle, the bottom wizards, to have fired without the one at the beginning. Move up to the next tile. About the tenth tile in from that one, place another marker. So once the bottom wizards fire without that front wizard, you'll run to that tenth tile marker running right before the flames go down, and then wait for the left and or the top wizards to fire and then run out completely. This took me quite a few tries to get the timing right, but it's super simple once you have it down. Okay, then on to another triple obstacle, but not as hard as the first. Double arrows, rows of squares, and lightning. Again, a focus on the arrows and move through. Here you can use magic to create a portal to this coffin. You'll need to bring runes for any level enchant you can do. If you fail twice, it will break. I don't recommend looting this coffin unless you have a lot of time left over. Move down the stairs. Then get ready for double arrows, sword and squares, but all blue squares. This one is a bitch. What I recommend is waiting for the sword to come back to the statue and the arrows to pass you at about the same time. Then run out and try to navigate to a lit up blue square with slightly faster long clicks. While moving lanes by clicking closer to your character but still a couple tiles ahead. This took me quite a few tries but once I got the hang of it, it wasn't too bad. Once you've hit a blue square, you'll be teleported past the sword and only have to deal with the double arrows. So bob and weave, and then exit to the right. Run past the next three row squares. Now you can loot the coffin past the braziers, which is the only coffin I do recommend looting at first until you get better. Then squeeze through the gates, refill your run, then go on to floor 5 if you can. Now you know what to do so you guys can knock this one out of the park. Alright guys, have fun and see you later. Thanks for watching.